Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we're going to be talking about addition of polynomial fractions. So remember, where, for you to be able to add any fractions, the denominators have to be the same, and then it's made of just adding the numerators. So let's look at this example that we have here. x minus 9 over 4 plus 2x plus 3 divided by x minus 5. So these are two fractions, and they are polynomial fractions where they've got uh, variables, in this case, x. So we are supposed to use our knowledge of additional fractions to be able to add the two. So before going into that actual question, let's try and look at a question like maybe 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4, right? Now, that simple addition of fractions. And we said that for us to be able to add these two, the denominators have to be equal first. And then after they're equal, then we add the numerators. So I am going to multiply 3 and 4, 3 by 4, equal to 12, which actually happens to be the lowest common multiple of the two. So using 12, I'm going to say 3 times 4, times 4. What you do on the numerator, you also do on the denominator. Same thing here, 3 times 3. The reason why I multiplied by 4 here is that I want 12. And also, I want 12 on both uh, denominators. Now, this is going to simplify as 8 over 12 plus 9 over 12, which, if we leave it as, a, as an impro improper fraction, it will be 17 out of 12. So basically what's important is that we wanted to achieve this situation whereby you have equal denominators. So the same principles apply when it comes to polynomial fractions. It, the, the existence of an x should not scare you because it's the same thinking altogether. Now, let us look at uh, these two denominators. They are not the same. So what we're going to do is that we're going to multiply 4 multiplied by x minus 5. This is our lowest common multiple. That's the lowest common multiple of the two denominators. So for us to achieve a common denominator, I'm going to multiply this side by x minus 5. And I'll multiply the numerator by x minus 5. And then this side I'll multiply by 4. And I'll multiply by 4. The reason being, we want our numerators to be exactly the same. So once we've done that, we can now simplify the top here and also at the bottom. So we have a situation where we have x minus 9, if we put it like that, and x minus 5. So x squared minus 14x plus 45, right? If you do the simplification, you'll get that over 4x minus 5. But because it's the same denominator, we can put it under one denominator and take the other one as well, 8x plus 12. So what I simply did, I did 4 times 2x, which is 8x, 4 times 3, which is 12. So this will be equal to, now let's add and subtract like terms. So you find it's going to be x squared minus 12, 14x plus 8x, which is what? Which is minus 6x plus 57 over 4x minus 5, right? So, the question is, can we simplify this any further, right? If you look at x squared minus 6x plus 57, can we simplify it? I don't think so, because 
there are no multi there are no factors of 57 if added will give you six because 57 is a prime number so it means that we have actually simplified it to its lowest terms but the most important thing is that for us to be able to reach this stage we had to first of all make the denominators the same and we did that by finding the lowest common multiple. In this case, we simply multiplied the four and the x minus five, and then we got that. But now, we said for us to get this here, we multiply by x minus five. What we do on the denominator, we also do on the uh, numerator. And this side, we multiply by four, by four, and simplify it. So, don't be scared when you see uh, x's in, 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 in fractions, because it's exactly the same as those fractions that you've done ever since you're in grade two. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.